Hey there, teens. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Lisa. And today, we're diving into a topic that most of us have experienced or will at some point, heartbreak. Yep, we're talking about coping with those teen love woes that can feel like the end of the world. But don't worry, we've got your back. In this video, we're sharing valuable tips and advice on how to navigate the roller coaster of emotions that come with your first heartbreak. Whether you've just gone through a breakup or you're dealing with an unrequited crush, we're here to help you heal and grow stronger. Let's get started. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to receive notifications for subsequent videos. Understanding your feelings. First things first, it's okay to feel confused and overwhelmed when you're going through heartbreak. Your feelings are valid. This is all part of growing up and learning about love. Remember that first love or that teenage crush can feel super intense. It's normal to feel a mix of emotions like sadness, anger, and even relief. Reach out to friends or trusted adults who can offer a listening ear and guidance. Parental support can be really helpful too. They've been there and can share their own stories. Just remember, Understanding your feelings is the first step towards healing. You're not alone in this journey. Reach out to your support system, your friends, family, and those who've been through it all. A heartfelt chat with someone who's faced heartbreak can be incredibly comforting. And don't forget about your parents. They can provide a different perspective and tons of wisdom. Remember, it's okay to lean on others during this tough time. You've got a team of people cheering you on. Time to show yourself some love. Prioritize self-care during this period. Engage in activities that make you happy, whether it's spending time in nature, reading your favorite book, or hanging out with uplifting friends. Taking care of your physical health is important too. Eat well, exercise, and get enough sleep. By focusing on yourself, you're laying the foundation for healthier relationships in the future. It's okay to let it out. Grieving is a natural part of healing from heartbreak. You might feel a range of emotions, from sadness to anger. Let yourself experience them fully without judgment. Cry it out, scream if you need to. Surround yourself with understanding friends and family who can provide comfort. Remember, healing takes time and it's okay to feel a bit broken. You'll piece yourself back together. So, that cute new person. Hold on a sec. It's tempting to jump into a new relationship to distract yourself, but it's often not the best move. Take time to heal and rediscover yourself before diving into something new. Rebound relationships might just bring more heartache down the road. Embrace self-reflection and personal growth before you let someone else into your heart. Now's the time to explore your passions. Investing in your hobbies and personal growth will boost your confidence and help you heal. Painting, playing an instrument, writing, whatever ignites your spark, go for it. This not only aids your recovery, but also builds a strong sense of self. Remember, you're not defined by your heartbreak, you're a whole universe of amazing qualities. Let's wrap this up by talking about acceptance. Accepting that the relationship has ended is key to moving forward. It's totally okay to grieve, but don't cling to what could have been. Embrace the lessons learned, and remember that heartbreak is a part of life's journey. Let go of bitterness and resentment, and look ahead with hope and optimism. Your story is far from over, and exciting chapters await. So there you have it, guys, Heartbreak 101. Remember, you're stronger than you think, and this heartbreak is just a chapter in your life story. If you found these tips helpful, give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button so you never miss out on more insightful content. Stay strong, stay positive, and until next time, take care.